The first thing we need to do is download Arial Odd. If you Google it, you can just type in Arial Odd F Tracy, and I've provided a link in the description where you can get it. So the page is the link I'm looking at now. And what you need to do is go to the Win64 button because this is a Windows application, click on the link, and you're gonna download a zip file. So if I click on that, it's gonna to want to download a file to my computer. It's gonna be a zipped folder. Once you unzip it, it's gonna have these contents in it. There's a readme file, you can find out more about it there, release date and so on. But to start using it, all you need to do is double click on arialod.exe. And as you can see, it's a very small application, 2.5 megabytes. There's some other folders there. For example, in map, you have a couple of example layers which you can use. But if we start it, it's just a double click and then the application starts. But we'll look at that in a moment. For now, we will minimize that. In order to add some data, you can go to the web page I prepared with lots of different files. So we'll do that now. Here's the web page I put together, and there's a number of sample files here. Just to get started in a very quick example of how it works, we can download a couple of files, the Ben Nevis Terrain small file and the Ben Nevis Color small file. So these are very small files and they should work even if your computer is really slow and old. But of course, remember, this is a Windows application. So it's not gonna work if you're on a Mac or Linux. So I'll just make sure I've saved these and then what I can do is switch to Aerialod. When you open Aerialod, you'll see something like this. I have just made the window a bit bigger, but typically it's good to maximize the window size. Now, the key thing to understand here is you're adding at least one layer. And you're gonna do that, first of all, usually via the height section. That's gonna be your height map. A height map in this context is just a black and white image where white represents high, dark, low, and if something's black, aerial odd will just not show it, it'll be invisible. So I'm gonna click this, and then I want my Ben Nevis small file. That's actually an ASC file, which is a type of data sometimes used for terrain. It's just got values in it and it's uh, a common file type if you're used to this, but don't worry about it. Some of them are rasters like PNG files or TIFF files, but this is an ASC file, so I can click open. If you do try that and for any reason you don't see anything, in the height section, we've got these numbers one, two, and four. That refers to the pixel format. So sometimes you might add something and it might not appear, but you will find occasionally if you change the numbers from one to two or two to four or whatever, it will appear. And once you add that, you can use your right mouse button, hold it down and spin things around, which we'll do briefly. But what we wanna do now is we wanna add some color. We want to add the color map. And this is gonna be like an overlay on top. And I prepared these for you so they are gonna be the same size in the same place, more or less. So I'm gonna click the square below where it says color. And now I'm gonna add this Ben Nevis color file, which I downloaded. It's just a color layer showing elevation. If I click open, it's gonna add on top. And if I want to turn it off, I can just click on the little use color map icon there to turn it on or off. Okay, so that's how you can turn it on or off. In this case, the elevation is just like it would be in real life. So the scale of one is correct because it's an ASC terrain file with real terrain data in it. So now I can, I can rotate the model using my right mouse button held down. If I hold down the scroll wheel, I can move the whole thing around the same thing is true if I hold down the space bar and then my left mouse button, I can move the model around. You'll find when you're moving a model around in Arial Odd that it goes kind of fuzzy and then it redraws and resharpens. Okay, so this is very basic introduction to getting Arial Odd, unzipping it, opening it and adding a couple of layers. The final thing we'll do now is just point you to the bottom right of the window 
you'll see some navigation controls. I can turn the cube on or off and I can actually click and you know move around the cube with my left mouse button. If I click it again, it'll go away. The default camera view is the orthogonal camera view. So it's a kind of view where you don't, I suppose, get smaller as you go further away. If I change it to PERS for perspective camera, you see what I mean? Things further away are smaller in the perspective view, obviously. Okay. And if I click on the camera ruler, this will allow us to change things in the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And one thing to note there is if it's at 133, say, and I double click it, it will snap to the nearest five digits. So this one's at minus 38. I'll double click it and it'll go to 35. Okay, so that's quite useful as well. We'll leave it there for now. There's a whole range of other videos in this playlist, which will tell you so much more. But for now, that's how you get it up and running. And that's how you add the height map and the color layer to Aerialod.